You know, fun and tap them. Today, tenth of February, year twenty twenty three. This is the test running after the installation of that DC compressor for air condition showing to you in our previous video. So you can see this is the Compressor. So, this is the compressor driver. Actually, we are still going to package all this cable with trunking pipe and put a switch here to turn it off and turn it on whenever needed. But we are just doing the test running video at the moment this is the condenser that you usually be in outdoor units in your air condition at home the one they usually install at the uh, back of your window so this is the inside condenser that we decide to use with the compressor because this a uh, condenser that usually follow the freezer comb is too small to use with this compressor. Ah, the local the compressor is already on carry. So, this is the one that can size it due to the thickness of the pipe. When it is on carry, it is a pressure on compressor. It is a so that is why we need to use the one that can size it, the one that can match it. That will not make the compressor to do overheating. That's why we decided to use this condenser with it. So as you can see, this is inside the uh, compressor room, the follow comb compressor that usually follow freezer comb. You can see. We have removed the freezer compressor that usually follow this comb. This one is bigger, you can enter this space. That's why we decided to install it outside. So the installation is done now. We have connected the freezer thermostat with the compressor. So when turning off this thermostat, the compressor turn off as well and we have put cooling fan what is both DC cooling fan to cool the condenser so the breeze is coming out at the front to cool down the temperature of the condenser so now this is the charge controller is 48 volts lithium battery we use to power the system so it has charged to to 50 volts 50 to 50 to 50 points one volts so you can see that on the at the current side is showing zero zero amps which means the power coming from the solar panel is the one the compressor is using to work at the moment. No power go to the battery because the battery is full already. So the cable that supply that carry power come from the solar panel is the one you are seeing on your screen. So briefly let me show you 
our locally made lithium battery that we assemble in a wooden container. So this is the freezer. You can see the freezer is a very long one. With this configuration, we have converted it to ice block machine. So now, I will show you the solar panel that we use to power it. Again, the solar panel that we power it. So these are the solar panel we use to power the freezer. They are six in number. As you can see, if you count them one after the other, there are six pieces of solar panel in number. So they are 300 watts each. Two with series, two together. With series, another two together. With series, another two together. We now parallel them in that two two set that are on series to give us uh, to give us like uh, sixty and uh, sixty above votes. So maybe uh, the uh, and this, uh, each voltage of the solar panel is thirty thirty nine volts. Yes, it's thirty nine volts. The total voltage in the two panel series together is going to uh, 70 something volts to be able to charge the battery that is 48 volts configuration so now this is where the cable follow enter inside the house and this is where the cable pass through before going to the charge controller so you can see it still remains on 50.1 volts so the compressor consume just little power it consume little power you cannot compare this with the compressor that you use on 220 volts as explained in our previous video because this compressor was made by brushless DC motor that save a lot of energy and it save you a lot of money in terms of powering it you so now let us check the current consumption with our clamp meter so as you can see 8.96 amps all, almost 9 amps it consume let's say it consume 9 amps 8 point something amps not up to 9 amps on the positive wire by consuming almost the same thing on the negative terminal negative wire so uh, 9 points Zero two amps. So let us check the current consumption of the fan. So amazing, not up to one amps. The two fans consume twenty twenty six milliamps. So eight point eight six amps. So this is the compressor that saves a lot of energy as we have said. Power this one with free electricity from your solar configuration. Just with your solar panel and your battery alone, you power this free of charge every day and you make your cool money. So,
for the benefit of you people that want to do this project for your business let's hear from you in the comment section drop your comments in the comment section let's know what you are thinking about this project if you want us to do it for you let's hear from you in the comment section So, this is uh, wow, inside is very, 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 very cold. Actually, we have not seen this inside. It doesn't mean to look at the first one. Inside of it is very, very cold. Thanks for watching. See you next time in our next video.